Hey guys, sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Such is life. It's been weird times. It's been a pretty weird year for everybody. Uh, speaking of which, the truck is going to a new home today. Uh, we're here in Allentown, Pennsylvania, a few minutes away from the potential buyer's house. Uh, he sounds pretty serious about wanting it. Already ordered wheels for it himself, so uh, almost positive he's taking it. Um, and I don't know. That's that. It's been a long eight years with this thing. And not that I really wanted to sell it, but it just, I don't know. It felt like it was time to move on. And we've already bought something new, which I'll show you in a second. It's actually towing right now. That's what we're using the tow. I'm really excited and happy with the purchase. Uh, we've had it for about two weeks now while this was up for sale. Uh, but finally found somebody who seemed pretty serious and really interested in the truck. Uh, and it feels like it's just time to move on. I love the truck. I just, uh, I don't know. Like I said, it's time for something new. Oh, dash cover fell off there. You know, it's kind of sad getting this thing cleaned up because I don't clean it. At least I don't clean the inside as often as I should. So when I was cleaning this out the other day, it was, it was a bittersweet moment. You know, the truck's not perfect. It's It's got a lot, you know, the body alone has probably close to 400,000 miles on it by now, if not more. Um, so it's not perfect, but it's all still there. So when I do clean it up, it... it you know, when I did clean it up, it definitely uh, made me question if I really wanted to sell it or not. But here we are, getting ready to drop it off. Sad times. Uh, I'm keeping the carbon fiber hood. It's going to go on the GTI or on the wall. Who knows? It'd be kind of cool to just hang it on the wall as a, as a reminder of the truck. Otherwise, I'd pretty much left it alone for the new owner. Uh, even though he's buying new wheels, I don't know what he plans on doing with these. Maybe I could try to convince him to let me take them for a couple bucks. But we'll see. And as for what is replacing it, we picked up a 1981 Chevy G20 Nomad. For those of you that are like, what the hell? Uh, I've been window shopping, just, you know, daydreaming about an old van for the longest time now. And as I felt more and more convinced to sell the truck, I was just browsing Marketplace and came across this thing. Here's the kicker. We're in Allentown, Pennsylvania right now to sell the truck. Two weeks ago, I was here in Allentown, Pennsylvania to buy this van. I mean, what are the odds? So, I mean, not that I'm like superstitious or believe in fate or anything, but it just makes you, you know, makes you laugh. So, this thing's pretty cool. I'm excited, very excited for it. Not really any big plans for like converting it or anything, but we're gonna get definitely a couple shelves in here. I want to be able to shove the jet ski in here, go go farther places ride the jet ski different areas uh but more importantly we have something that we could just kind of road trip in so we're gonna kind of not do a permanent bed set up here but we're gonna get this set up for a bed i'll probably put a second battery in the thing an inverter do a nice uh simple weekender build out of it now the nomad Sorry if we're going to go nerding out about Chevy stuff for people who are here for strictly Volkswagen stuff, but whatever, too bad. It's my channel. You don't like it, go make your own. The Nomad seemed to be a reverse El Camino, as I keep being told. So business in the back. It's like a nice rubber mat back here. All blank in the back. You got wood paneling in the back. And then you go to the front, and that's where the party's at. So... This seat will move up to here if you're doing bigger cargo in the back or, as somebody said, move it to the back for party mode. Sorry, it's a little messy in here right now because we're in the middle of haul and stuff. Um, but, yeah, this thing is awesome. You know, it's got carpet up front past that mat. 
It's cool. I think my favorite part's gotta be the air freshener. Oh yeah, I haven't named her yet. But here's the selling point for me. That underside is incredible. I mean, just look at it. All new front end. It's a good little van. It's definitely very solid. It's got a little bit of, a little bit of cancer here and there. I'll have to address at some point. Uh, nothing too major though. I kind of like the. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, I kind of like the rough, use and abuse outside, mechanically solid underneath sort of theme. So. This thing's real cool. I mean, I just, I, I can't get over the bottom of this thing. Somebody took very good care of this. And the guy I got it from put the lift kit on. He put helper springs in the back. He did new front end, all new cooling components, new brakes. Uh, I mean, he, he was into, he was into parts on this thing for more than what I paid for it. So, and brown sugar, of course. two-wheel drive in case you didn't already notice that uh everybody that's the first thing people seem to keep asking me is a four-wheel drive no it's not i didn't really want to pay the broverland tax uh and if it were four-wheel drive i would probably just beat the shit out of it so i'm okay with the two-wheel drive saves me some money less stuff to break i'm less likely to break it from abuse but uh yeah, I know this isn't really a Volkswagen update per se. I mean, yeah, I'm selling that, but you know, I just wanted to show you guys what's going on. Uh, haven't really been doing too much Volkswagen stuff in the driveway, so not a whole lot to film and post for you guys. Seeing these two things together though makes me question selling the truck. It's just like it's like a match made in heaven. Just look at it. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? So, all right. We're gonna go to the potential buyer's house, show them the truck and hopefully get it sold. I mean, it's, it's sad, sad day, but like I said, it's, it's, I've had this thing for eight years, daily driven it, spring through fall, all eight of those years. Abused the shit out of it. I've had my fun with it. It's, it's, it's been a good truck overall, but it's time to close this chapter in life and move on to something else. All right, guys. I hope you're all staying safe during these crazy times. Uh, I don't know. We'll probably get some maybe some gti stuff going soon finally but i still got the gti so it, we're, this the channel's not going anywhere still got the gti but more importantly still got plenty of mark one people in the area that we're gonna go see now i can travel a bit further sleep in the van down by a river uh you know this is uh some doors will be shut but new doors will open all right guys I mean, it's ready to go. Oh, man. Yeah, I have the, I put the mini split in here when, at like 9 o'clock. You know, just to, because it's too hot outside. This thing is crazy. <laughs> How long have you been putting it together? I've had this car since like 2005, 2006. At least it daily this car. I mean, at first class fitness at like 2015, everyone was like, what are you doing? Why are you taking it apart? I told everyone I'm taking it apart again. And uh, that's my son's invention. But it used to look like this. And I hated it. How could you hate that? I hate. I, all I saw is imperfections. I don't remember when you do body work. That's all you see. Yeah, I mean, I'm the I'm the opposite. I, I yeah. If it runs. Well, most, most people are. If it runs, I'll send it. But like, 
I mean, the starter's flipped, even all the linkage is gold plated. The oil filter housing is, you know, gold plated. Yeah. The, uh, the booster's chrome. I custom made all the brake lines. The, uh, even the oil cap. I mean, I have, I, I even have fail stuff I did that I didn't like. <laughs> when I was experimenting with Mark 1 Reservoir, I'm experimenting with Mark 4 Reservoir. Oh, this is machined? Oh. It's, oh. Um, it's vacuum plated because it's plastic. Chrome plated and then gold plated. The same with this. Oh my God. She's crazy, dude. And then I saw gold VDO gauge on, I have like filters set up on eBay and it's fucking for a boat. Check out the cluster. The cluster is all redone and oh. it's all gold. Interlace, all the gearing and everything is redone. You got the boat steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't put the uh, the horn bezel around. It's on the passenger seat. Oh, I, I think we can let it slide. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I had Wilwoods that I got from uh, Tech Fifty Three, and they didn't clear the uh, they didn't clear the calipers, even though he said they cleared fifteens. Yeah, it's all hit or miss things with uh, that. Like sometimes you'll need to run like a three mil spacer and. So with having chromed RMs, I can't take them apart and change lips, even though I have them. It's because they're all chrome. I'm not no. sending out new lips to get chrome and then rebuilding the entire wheels. So I just put the stock calibers back on again. So the how long have you been working on this phase? Oh, uh, November 2017. So it's not that far. You know, not that long. I mean, that's a good amount of time, though. When you have, when you have like, no, I'm not, I'm not saying yeah. like, like that in a bad way. Because it, it shows have, that you're... I have to take increments because otherwise I get mad. So it's like, in the middle of working on this, something to break on the Rabbit, something to break on the Caddy, something to break on the Rambler, something to break on the Porsche. Uh, yeah, right yeah. now, I'm building a game room in the basement. So it's like I always have like a million things. Like we started that brick project in the middle of quarantine. Well, that's why, that's why if we were buying that... Well, I, I wanted to sell the truck, but once I found that van, I knew we needed to sell it because I knew we were going to buy the van. Yeah. And I'm not going to have that many projects kick around we got her 74 beetle the gti in the in the garage okay it's because i got rid of two motorcycles just because it's a little too much so my son likes to ramble and right that i was driving for five years with no seat belts and he wasn't allowed in because i was too lazy to buy seat belts for it so i finally did that like three weeks ago but he loves the cabbie because we just get in the cabbie and just drive the seats are sick the seats are nice oh he's seven so I have, I have plenty of pictures of him helping me with this. So most people have an anxiety attack when he's in here because he's running around. Like at one point, the car was on four jacks in. He's riding his tricycle in here. And everyone's like, having a home. But it's like little stupid things. Like all of these are gold plated too. Like all the bolts on the hardware that you can't see. I thought about it, but, <laughs> but even, even these are gold plated, I don't know if you know the speed so nice. and even when you open the doors, the latches are from the strikers. But I did these in black, in the black suite. Um, this thing's incredible. Because it, it's like... The hose clamps. The hose clamps on the steering rack. So my wife thinks... When do you expect it to be debuted? Next show. It's ready to go. Yeah? I just got to put... I was just setting the height on the air ride. Uh, I just got to put the cable on. I'm just going to put it on the lift. Yeah, these are all... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh I love that you're laughing about it because you know how ridiculous yeah. it is. <laughs> well, like most people don't have this much hardware. Because I've literally changed every nut and bolt, like even the uh, distributor clamps. God. That's crazy. Have you kept a tally on what you've no, spent no. on the gold plating? No, because then she would see it. <laughs> but like, you know, even, even more bolts, like even the transmission bolts. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the, the um, not the main ones, the case bolts for the transmission. The biggest too. pain in the ass so far of this of this whole build 
was putting the spring on the steering cluster back on. I mean, on the uh, pedal cluster that broke off. You know that little retention spring that makes the no, pedal but sit I've heard I haven't dealt with it, but I've heard people not. So most enjoy people it. don't run it, but my friend was over one day and he goes, "Why does your clutch pedal sit a quarter of an inch lower?" So I had to do that, and doing that on a car is a big nightmare. But the linkage, the linkage gave me such a pain in the What's ass. What's your favorite part about the car? Probably the cars. I just like the sound. And the same thing with the, uh, the manifold. Have you something? gotten much driving in with those carbs yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I drove them for like five years. Ago. Well, no, with that, with them open like that? Or do you have a I have air box? Yeah. Okay. I, have like, I have like six linkage setups. So I'm a car person. Most people yep. buy carbs and they have no idea how they work. I love them. Because the 914 is on carbs too. And that car used to be like an actual SCCA car. So it's got Philistines all around it and it's freaking ridiculous. But you know, most people buy cars because they're frustrated with CIS and they have no idea how to tune them. Yeah, the box ball. I even like the hood dicks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but you know, I have like three different car manifolds set up in here too. What so what's all done to the motor then? Uh, 2.1, 276 cams, Shrek, complete built SCCH head. It's probably stage two when he was actually doing it. Um, oversized valves, TT lightweight retainers and everything. And what, like you said, like probably close to 13 to one compression? Yeah. It's I built rip. this thing. I built this thing. Was, it, was that motor built yeah. with, back when it was like that? Yeah. Oh, so you've gotten a good run with it then. Yeah. So I, it's like, I did everything in reverse. I made the, I built the motor. I put it in the motor and I did a shitty paint job in the engine bed. And I'm like, I'm just going to drive it. And then I drove it for a little bit and I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to paint it. And then I took it all apart to paint it. And then I put it back together and I go, the outside of the car looks nicer than the engine bay. <laughs> and it bothered me. So that's why I took it all apart and I did the engine bay. So I painted this in here. That's why there's like red overspray on the floor. You know, like this wasn't done in my shop. What um, what do you think it's making for power? Probably 160, maybe, maybe, you know. Gotta would, be closer would, to 100 to the wheels. Yeah, but I wanna, I, cause I, I hadn't dynoed it yet. I wanna say, I wanna hope that it's like 170, but to I would wheels, say it's yeah. probably 160, 165. It's just so hard to make power out of these, out of these motors. You got the right recipe though. Like everything is in the head in this. Yep. So, you know, well, just that's, did that's you why I was happy the SCCA did you see the it. difference with the ABA head, yeah. the stock and and on mine? It's yeah. like two seconds in the quarter. Yeah. That's a little eight valve. The brake lines look awesome. I really wanted to have. I I inquired because you know Swoops was local first, but I got you know I couldn't afford paying two grand for brake lines, so I just took my time and did it myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's ridiculous. Well, you could tell you could tell in pictures it's crazy, but you don't. You when can't. You see it in person? Yeah. This, yeah. Because uh, I didn't really. Because these, because these are actually everything is gold plated. Like a couple of things are brass, but when you polish these up, they they shine. Like even all the mounts, they're all real gold plated. <laughs> Oh man, you're you're out of your mind, man. So the headlights are just in right now. I'm rebuilding the headlights too. Like I'm gonna powder coat those brackets, and I'm probably gonna do them. So is it making it to madness next year? Yeah, but I'll, I'll get full busted. That I'll tell it though, just because I don't want to drive. I mean, not necessarily <laughs> because you do. Again, uh, like you just said, you have to drive through yeah. the city. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be disgusting filth. Okay. You can't drive the shit out of them and keep them. Like this, or did you hit realistically? I hit a puddle and it's four hours of cleaning. It's hard to tell, but if you look at the taillights, I'll show you stock Scirocco taillights. But even these taillights have like eight hours of modification in them because all the lines are sanded smooth and they're tinted with. Clear. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And this goes like this, just like that. Yeah, but even this is sanded down and kind of smoke cleared. And even, even like when you look at these, like the linkage right here is chrome. Mm -hmm. That's my. But even these. Oh, yeah, I was just looking at these. 
Yeah. You're crazy. You're out of your mind. I appreciate you showing it, being able to see it. Like the front, I can lower a little bit because like the, like the back sits a little bit lower. Because with the air, you don't really know until you adjust it. But I put like a degree and a half of camber in the front. I can probably go two and I'll get it to sit a little bit lower. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you mean, but I mean it's... But this was like the first air out where I just, you, you know, I just put it down on the ground because it was fit on jack stands for three years. It's crazy. Those decals are sick, though. It looks so good on white. Well, this one you actually drive all the yeah, place. Yeah, I drive all, everywhere. My son sits in the back. He loves this fucking thing. At first he was like, Ugh, it's red! Oh, that's so neat. But the interior in this car is pretty clean. Yeah, that's nice. And I actually have those full sets of the uh, mats. Wait, so you designed this? Yeah. And then you know people who did it? Yeah. My friend Adam runs this uh, company called Sign Factory. He does like all vinyl wraps and designs and stuff like that. And this is like a Beatles? Yeah, he could do anything. Yeah. He did. I don't know. This is like a really fucked up thing to ask. Do you know who Six X Nine is? That rapper? Oh God. Uh, no. All right, we're leaving. I'm not giving you the motor. I'm not giving you the motor. He wrapped, he wrapped the room uh, with all the colors for his latest video that went like okay. that like broke the. Rap. Oh, that crazy! Yeah, 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 I saw it. But that's what he does, you know. It's, Yeah. Well, I would totally do something like this on the Beatles. You could. Or you could do okay. full blown race livery. Hey. What's up, kid? What's up? We're checking out your ride. Sean and the Rabbit. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Yeah. yeah, this one's your favorite? I don't blame you. This Good, because the other one's creepy. <laughs> you guys want one? I'm alright, thank you, man. Okay. Yeah, this is a great little car. So everyone teases me because every car has RS's pretty much. Okay. Oops. So RS. You like what you like. That's why I have uh, <laughs> snowflakes on everything I own. Fifty thousand miles, you said. Yeah, Fifty-four, fifty-three is some change. I used to have this wheel in the Scirocco because it's smaller. Right. Uh, but it kind of looks right yeah, at home I like here. It in here. I, I still have all the factory stuff, but like the interior's meant the top's good. I just don't put the top up because it's such a pain in the ass to put it down. But I have a garage cover for it. It's not like this is the car you have to drive. If it's gonna rain out, you just don't drive it. But it's funny because I was thinking about putting these bumpers on the diesel and putting the small bumpers on this because I think small bumpers look better with round. But the bumpers came with that diesel that I just said, yeah, you know. I've never seen one of these up close. <laughs> They're kind of rare, huh? They're rare, but it's another car. It's not, like, not worth anything. Look at those like, freaking seat belts. <laughs> yeah, I just put them in. The, uh, this is like, old guys come up to me all the time when I drive, and it's like, bro, I used to plow out my wife in the back seat of this, and I'm like, <laughs> Okay, man. <laughs> so the sport truck is sold, but the van's been putting in work. How much did you sell the sport truck for? Uh, sixty-two fifty, and I kept the carbon hood. Oh, nice. So I'm happy. I think it was a good, fair deal for both parties, honestly. Like, I... I, I would have liked to get more. Is it worth more? I mean, it depends. Yeah. So this motor came out of Nick's sport truck. We're here in Long Island delivering it to Joe. Uh, this is a gem of a 1.6. I kind of wanted to keep it for myself, but... <laughs> um, but yeah, the van's putting in work. The sport truck has been sold. And this is the new chapter that we're diving into and this van is sweet it towed the sport truck like a dream 
It's got all the room for activities. We could probably fit another two complete motor and transmissions back here. We could probably do another three or four up front here. The back seat clicks up another spot so you could get even more like dedicated back workroom. I mean, this thing's sick. I like it. I think the plans, trying to decide if we're gonna build a motor for it. Uh, it runs like a sewing machine right now. So it's pretty good, uh, but I kind of wanted to just roast tires. But we'll see. I bought an inverter, second battery, isolator, all that stuff. We're gonna do like kind of a weekender build out of it. Nothing too crazy. We don't want to go living out of it, but it'd be nice to be able to set up shop for a week somewhere have power uh leah's working on curtains and stuff for it things cool that's that uh, i'm gonna get this motor unloaded and see you guys sometime soon